Hello, hello, Roger Federer. So we're closing down on um, the days to Wimbledon. Um, I made a video today that was actually on the fly outside, um, and I was trying to, to do it on my phone and upload it to YouTube, but I had some problems. So I have to apologize. I'm just going to um, do something really cheap and uh, just hold the phone up to the monitor, and then if it's too ugly, I'm just going to... Um, just revert to to this video going black and then just being sound so um, you know please excuse that but the focus is you know I was thinking well I'll tell you I'll tell you so in the video I won't waste too much time but again like going into Wimbledon like what is your like mind frame and and how are you going to come into Wimbledon like what's your full intention I know you want to win Wimbledon, so how are you going to um, do that? How are you going to win Wimbledon? What are you going to agree to to win Wimbledon? How are you gonna How are you gonna agree to uh, What are you gonna do in in handling intense situations? Like, could you go in and just make an agreement? Like, listen, I know there's competition. Not only I, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk to myself. I'm gonna talk as if I were you. Even though I don't know what's going on in your head and everything like that, I'm just going to talk from my own, you know, just frame of mind on what I think, you know, on my impression of you. So I would just say, listen, I'm going into Wimbledon. I, I want to win this tournament. This is my tournament, you know, so I've got to make sure that, number one, um, I have the skill. I know I can do this. I have beaten these guys. I know I can beat them. I've got to go into these matches, like, just ready to play. Play every point and make everything inconvenient for everyone, you know, and, and be okay with that. Uh, I'm going to stick to who I am, but I'm going to raise my level where I need to, you know. Um, if I have any issues, any physical issues, back issues, anything, I'm going to take care of them so that I could feel free to move freely on the court and um, get this title um, or I'm just gonna do my best I'm gonna do my absolute best that's all I'm gonna promise myself um, you know going up against up against uh, the, the the two the two people in the world who hold the rankings above me only two that's it I have only two people who are holding rankings higher than me who are who are holding um, who have finished and added up points that that in a performance that that equates to higher than me so I am doing very well in this world I'm doing very well so I want to agree like I know I could beat these two guys I know I have beaten them I know these guys are focused I know how they process their losses you know these guys have been pretty progressive I've seen the top two guys above me process their losses very well and then the guy right below me not process his losses very well and I don't want to be the guy below me I want to be the guy the two guys <coughs> the top and I'm and I'm better and I'm definitely better so I've just got to be on my game what do I promise myself I'm gonna play every point I'm gonna come in with a clear head I'm gonna forgive myself you know uh, I'm gonna move out the media criticism I'm not allowing the media to tell me what I do because wherever I am is wherever I am in my game whether it's my backhand it needs work you know it is what it is I've gotten through this this is how I've come to number one in the world, I have played um, my best tennis, and I'm going to continue to play my best tennis, you know, and I'm just going to sit there and focus on what used to get me the wins are going to get me the mindset that used to get me the wins. I'm going to go back and just take what worked then and use it now, and I'm going to trust myself. I'm going to go back into trusting myself because I can't trust other people because they're not walking in my shoes to really know what's going on. So I'll be, con you know, I've been constantly ill-assessed, you know, but my numbers don't lie. They speak for me. I'm number three in the world. I've taken four titles and I, I work hard. I work hard. So I'm going to do myself the greatest honor of performing well in every single Wimbledon match. That's it. That's all. So, so, um, if, you know, if and when I get into an intense match, with someone and it's in the semifinals or the finals i'm gonna come back down to myself that in the end that's all there was was me in the beginning is none of this media none of these other players none of these fans none of these 
non-fans, you know, none of these people judging me, I'm going to come back to who I am and just connect. Pick up the racket and connect. And that's it. And I'm going to I'm going to seize opportunities and I'm going to create opportunities for myself. And I'm going to I'm going to respond well and I'm going to have an answer. I'm going to see the answers and I'm going to give them. And I'm going to be okay with sending people home because it's my time now. I've, I've been on the wind, the wrong side of the winds, the side of the winds that I don't want to be on. I want to be on the, the side of the wind that is the glory, that is the victory, that is the triumph. And I know I have that inside of myself. And I know I can do this. I just need to stay within myself. I don't need to judge what Rafa's doing. I don't need to judge if... He's playing really well. I don't need to judge if Djokovic is doing really well because, you know what, these guys are scared of me. And I have a big effect in this world. And that's why I'm coming into Wimbledon um, with, with a very extremely strong chance of taking number one in the world. So I've got, this is the time I've really got to dig down right now. This is what I wanted. I want Wimbledon. I want the Olympics. But I can't worry about the Olympics. I got to throw it all out right now. I'm going to throw it all out right now, and that's it. And I'm going to play my best tennis, and I'm going to try to be my absolute best friend in every moment. I'm going to cut down on any errors. And if, if I come into just being in the moment and just trusting myself, I will hit those shots because that's what I'm known for. That's what I'm known for. I'm known for my precision across the court. I already have the skill as muscle memory. There's muscle memory. You know, there's muscle memory. The muscles never forget. So I know I can do this. I know I can do this. And I can see, I, I can take a 140 mile an hour serve. I've taken it before. I've taken it against Roddick in U.S. Open and confused him by return. I've taken, one, I've taken high speed serves um, and returned them. I can do this. I've beaten, I've beaten high intensity players like Rafa. You know what? And even when I didn't pull out the win, I performed on an extremely high level against these, these players. I just need to focus and settle in and be okay with the pressure and be okay with the heat and standing near the oven. And there's going to be heat. There's going to be pressure. But I'm going to breathe because in the end, all of it is just me. It's just me. And if I just... I don't need to submit to what the pressure of the matches if I don't pull out the win okay if I do pull out the win that's what I want that's okay but it's if I get if I don't pull out the win it's not going to be because I got in my own head and started already anticipating oh my gosh this is not working oh my gosh this is so hard oh god you know I know the media is probably talking about Rafa being able to win or something like that like I'm not going there I, I've done that I've been down that road I've seen the end of that street I'm not going there I'm I'm keeping it right here right over here with Roger Federer because I know my effect I don't need to send my mind over to Rafa I don't need to send my mind over to Djokovic and know how great they're playing you know what I play well I play well I play very well and I can do this it's all about me. I've been my biggest opponent. I've had 40-some-odd 40, 40 unforced errors. These guys are being their best friends. And that's the benefit of really seeing, you know, these other guys playing and how they're processing their losses really well. Djokovic processes his losses really well. Nadal processes his losses really well. And I'm going to use them as an example and inspiration and process my losses really well and bounce back because through them I see it is possible. It is very possible to come back. And you know what? I'm at the forefront here. I'm I'm the one leading the way um, in all of this. They've been the ones developing their tennis games through my example and um, you know and all credit to their own brilliance but I've I've had a great effect in this world and I'm going to I I reclaim my effect and I reclaim my power. And because someone doesn't see my potential, you know, and they they've never seen anyone really excel much at 30 years old, that is not my story. I know what I can do. 
I know what I can do. And I know that I can do it even if I'm tired. And I know I can do it even with my eyes closed. As long as I'm focused and I'm here. And I acknowledge myself. And I forgive myself. Whatever happened in the past is fine. I messed up. It's fine. I, I didn't... I didn't play, my serve was off, it's fine. You know, I hit a lot of unforced stairs, it's fine. You know what? I was distracted, and I'm here right now. And as long as I'm here, and I'm playing every point, that's, that's what's going to get me through. And that's what I'm going to be proud of at the end of the day, no matter what the result is, I walk off the court. You know, because I know that even, I know that either way, I win. Either way, I end up. I win every, 100% of the time because I played 100% of my game and I know what my effect is and I'm ready to take it into the tennis world. I'm ready, I'm ready to show the world that you can do the greatest things and you can surpass the greatest limits. And you know what? I don't even need to show the world that. I'm just going to show it to myself and they can just see what happens. I'm going to fulfill myself. I'm going to do... I'm going to realize what, I'm going to realize um, my desire right on these courts over the next four or five years. I'm going to do that because that's what I wanted to do. I don't need to succumb to everybody's story about being 30 years old. You know what? Because I still can run this tour. I know I can run this tour. We have to make a few little adjustments here and there next year or whatever or, um, have to make a few adjustments, but that's not a reflection on on me uh, declining. I'm thriving. I thrive in my tennis in my tennis game. I constantly thrive, and and that's what these guys are doing. They're thriving, and I'm gonna thrive too. And that's my intention for Wimbledon. I promise to thrive. I promise to play every point. I promise to put the ball away and be okay with that. I. I I promise myself to let go of the past. And I know that that clears my mind. It clears my mind to know, like, now there's room in my mind for me to return and reconnect with knowing that I have the skill to do this. I can trust that shot. I don't have to be afraid of taking that shot. I can trust making that shot knowing it'll hit that line and I'll get the point. I can trust making that shot and I know I will make it. I know myself. I know myself. I know myself. And I'm ready. So I open up all the triumph. I'm, I'm saying yes to triumph. I'm saying yes to championship. And I see myself right now holding that crown. I don't need to figure it out. I just need to play every point. I don't need to figure out anything. I just need to play every point. I just need to show up for myself and stay so focused on what? I can do because once I start worrying about how good somebody else is my energy is over there it's not over here and I, I can't function if 30 30 percent of or 40 percent of my energy is over there with Djokovic you know and it being a tough match it's going to be a tough match like no more tough matches we've got tough guys we've got tough guys but I'm a tough guy too and my numbers speak for me, and I don't lie, and, and they don't lie. And um, I'm going to play every point. And I know when I play every point and come right into this moment, and I come right into this moment under that intensity, I know I'm going to be the one to pull out the win. I'm going to be the one to pull out the win because there's so much. When it gets really hard, I promise myself I'm going to stay right there with my feet to the fire. I'm going to stay there because I know there's so much at stake. Like, I know I, I, I can't go home. I cannot go back. I only can go forward. That's it. So I've got to go through that fire. So when it's burning, I'm sticking there. I'm sticking right there. I'm sticking there. And I'm going to pull out the win. No matter what it takes, if I need to leave it all on court and can't, can't function for the rest of the season that's all I need to know right now I regroup and I know I know that I have longevity and I activate every bit of longevity and I activate the winner in me and I take back my power and I take back my self trust I trust myself I know that I can do this and I, I I'm, I'm ready to win and I'm willing to win and I give myself permission to win 
consciously and unconsciously, I give myself permission to win. And whatever is coming up inside me, any resistance, I'm just dispelling it and releasing it. And I'm focusing on the moment. I promise myself not to worry. I promise myself to only prepare. I will not worry. I will only prepare. That's the only thing that I can control. And when I just stick to controlling what I can do, I know that I can win. I can see the answers on the court. I can see every answers and I can make possibilities and I can close out. I can close out set one, set two, set three. And I can take it to the fifth set two. I can take it all away and, and take it out. There's no going back. This is it. I know this is what I want and the struggle for things being hard or a lot of work, I release that too. I release my need for any kind of drama, you know, with loss and with victimhood or anything. Anything that's clouding my thoughts, I release it. I don't need the press. I don't need all these people who... I don't need all these people who have supported me all these years and now they're not... Maybe some of them are not supporting me. I never needed them. I'm responsible for my own happiness, and I'm going to create my happiness. I have myself, I have my wife, I have my beautiful children. I am going, and I have a coach team that really supports me. I'm going to take, let them off the hook. Let, let the entire world off the hook. And I'm going to just make my own reality i don't need other people to approve of me so i release the need i release everyone off the hook from from affecting me from not approving of my game or whatever i know what i'm going to do and i'm going to write my reality in my book and no one no one's going to tell me how my career is going to go i want to go to 39 years old and play at a high level i will do that i will not worry i will prepare i promise myself i will not worry i will prepare if I'm playing against a big server, I'll have a strategy in place. I will work with my mind the night before so that I'm playing everything at the point. That's it. And just being fully available to play at every single point. And I can make adjustments. I know how to do this. I've been doing this for years. I changed the game. I've changed the game. So I know it's that time. It's that time. And I'm ready. I'm ready to take Wimbledon. Oh, I'm ready to take Wimbledon. That's it. I will not worry. I promise myself. I will not worry. I will prepare. I will not worry. I will be prepared. And I know when I prepare for everything, which I know these guys, I know all how they play their games. And they know how I play. Um, they know how I play my game. And they know my strengths. And they know my weaknesses. And I know their strengths. And I know their weaknesses. And the weakness of theirs is that I know how they're going to play to my weakness. So I'm going to pump up my strengths. I'm going to pump up my strengths and really assault, insult the game with that. And my weaknesses, I'm going to close them out as much as possible. Keep my errors low. I'm going to be my own best friend. Keep my errors low as possible and, I, and trust myself and know I can make a shot. I know I can make a shot and stay in it. And I'm going to take myself first. It's time. I've, I've let other people take the win and I've, sat, I've gone home and I've sat in darkness. There's no, there's no going back. There's no going back. There's only going forward. And that's it. That's all my Roger Federer, my good, good friend, my dear, dear. Um, <laughs> no way. I better not be saying all of that. Mirko might get mad at me. <laughs> I don't mean it like that. But, you know, just my, you know, my good friend Roger Federer, my dear friend Roger Federer, who I don't know. But I, I. I know you deserve this. I'm going to tell you right now. You deserve this. But knowing I can sit here and turn blue in the face and tell you you deserve this. You've got to believe that you deserve this. No more playing, you know, no more no more carrying around a whole bunch of guilt and anger and all of that stuff. Like, sort that stuff out and let it go. Just come in there promising yourself, like, this is how you're going to go into Wimbledon. Now, I didn't even upload this other video. <laughs> now I am. But take that, you know, bring in some affirmations for yourself, you know. I, I, I stay in a positive moment, you know. I'm dispelling all negative momentum. I'm, I'm, staying, I'm staying present in, in the tough moments, in the dark moments, in those moments. Like I said, I say in another video, like, you know, 
you're in there with an adult, you guys know how it gets. He will raise his level of intensity, and you just hold the line. And the thing is, is you be Roger Federer, but you play every point, you know, and, and take it, take it, you know what I mean? Just take it. And just stay in there. Just stay in there. And and if you're you you are ahead, what you very well are extremely capable of doing, run with it. Keep running with it. Don't let up. You know. Don't make a mistake or anything. Don't do anything like haphazard. Obviously, but keep running with it. Keep that door closed. Like slam that door shut on them. Just keep the thing closed, <laughs> so they can't get back in. And um. It's so not to say be a wild man, but just, you know, run that race strong. Like, if you're out in front, stay out in front. Run that race strong and hard and keep holding on and retaining your points. And when you get to break point conversion, you know, there's so, you know something like this on your tennis racket. And, again, I don't know if you could do that, but you want to convert. at the You want to keep convert. You want to actually convert. So... Get, get there because there are times when honestly you can't convert you know just because of the other players you know the other players are uh, in position but there are times when you're poised to convert and it's just simply seems to be a mental thing so you know just keep in there stay in there stay in there and just promise yourself like how I'm, I'm going to function I'm going to function and I'm going to pull it out and convert my break points and this is going to remind me like you know because you tend to, like, get out on the tennis court or get out in anywhere in life. Like, you say you're going to do all these things, but then, you know, you have your older, more traditional way of thinking and, and your own habitual ways, and you might forget. And at the end of the match, you're like, oh, wait a minute, I promised myself that I was going to play every point intensely, and I, intensely, and I didn't. Or I promised myself I was going to do this, you know. So that's why you need a support system, like something like this, or even if you just tape a little something in here just to remind you like oh i'm at break point okay let me turn it on let me get in the moment so they move all the noise out so i could see everything it's kind of like that deer in the woods who suddenly stops you know to kind of just turn on all the senses not only just the eyes but the nose and the ears and um just the um also just the um the motor skills you know and just turn it on and if you're feeling nervous and you're feeling a lot of um, difficulty with the mental thing, again, bring it to the bring it to the moment. Like just go into that worm mode where it's like I'm not thinking what's happening now. Djokovic is bouncing the ball. That's what's happening. Djokovic is bouncing the ball, and then once you just start focusing on Djokovic bouncing the ball <laughs> and getting ready to serve. You are, you, there's no time for you to worry about, oh my gosh, I need to make sure that I make this point. You know, like, if you're in, if you're coming from a place of fear and worry, like, that, that is taken away from your focus. But if you come from a place like, yes, it could go that way. I could miss the ball and be in a difficult position. But yeah, you know what? I, if I turn on and be more available, I can move myself into a better position. So that's that. Good luck. You know you can do this. Just, you know, I even encourage you to, like, get into just a little bit of something meditative at night, like, just saying um, what I call a bedtime intention. Like, I intend to win. I intend to activate every single part of me that is the winner. I intend to reawaken the champion, you know, the parts of me that have gone lying dormant or, or that I've shut off or parts that have shut down or whatever. I reawaken them. I see... I see every opportunity, and I make opportunities on the court, and I do it with good ease, you know, even in the toughest of matches. And in the, in the most heat-intensified moments, I pull it out. I turn on fully available, and I pull it out. And, like, if you're saying that to yourself at night and just saying, you know, while I go to sleep, you know I'm tapping into full triumph. I'm tapping into full championship energy. And just there is an energy, you know, like, even even for you, you know, like if someone really likes you as a tennis player or whatever, it's like, you know what, Roger Federer is such a great example of winning, like, and I need to win this, and I need to pull this out like he does. I'm tapping into Roger Federer right now, channeling him or something, you know. So just you're, pull out your heroes, whoever they are, whoever, you know, your favorite people are, you know, pull on them, draw on them, like, before you go to bed at night and just start taking your own power and promise yourself, like, in Wimbledon, I'm not going to worry. I'm going to control what I can control. 
And um, again, Roger Federer, that's all we can ask as fans is that, you know what, you're just doing your best. That's it. That's all we can ask. And when you do your best, really good things happen. Like winning at Wimbledon. Wimbledon. Yeah. All right, let me let me go because I'm going to upload this other video, which means this is like an hour of your time. Hope you're watching.